All right, we're here with another tech review. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Amox 5 port powered Ethernet switch. It came in a prime container from Amazon. A little bigger than you expect for a 5 port switch. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, okay. Smart POE switch. This POE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It means if you want to plug in a, a camera or a telephone that requires power over Ethernet, this will provide the power for you. The exact model on this is the SG305P. Hopefully you can focus on the label. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, it's, it's actually much bigger than the previous switches I've, I've worked with in this house. Wow, very well packaged. Okay, that's what we got here. We got a uh, instruction sheet. I'll we'll take that out of the out of here for just right right now. We'll look at that in a second. Oh, it's packaged very well. Nice solid foam. Protect it pretty well. Hmm. Unlike most switches, this one comes with a heavy duty power cord. This is uh, rated at 70 watts. So you need a substantial cord. No power brick though. So you don't have to go fumbling for some kind of special adapter. It's just a straight wall to unit. It's an American outlet. And then the adapter for the back of the unit itself. Looks like it comes with uh, feet and some brackets. A couple of screws to attach the brackets. I suggest that, or suppose that is if you want to mount it to a uh, wall or some kind of rack. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got to take the foam off here. It's that foam. This foam. Oh wow, it's wrapped very well. All right, here we go. All right, you definitely know it's there. It hasn't been in package previously. Ooh, look at that plastic. Okay, here we go. Here is, I guess it would be the front. You got your four ports that are powered over Ethernet, and you have one that's just a regular Ethernet uh, switch connection. So even though it's a five port gigabit switch, only four of the ports have the power over Ethernet. So you could do like four cameras and then this to your DVR or whatever other kind of equipment you want to use with it. Uh, it just says, let's just say there, five port gigabit switch POE switch with four port POE. Okay, pretty much self explanatory. I mean, it's a, it's a, uh, non-managed switch there's not a whole lot to it very much just plug and play the back of the units here it has a quality control sticker on it, it says it's passed a standard plug so even if you have one from an old monitor or a computer if you're with a longer cord if you need a longer cord you can plug it in and for the unboxing there isn't a whole lot more to say it's it's pretty hefty i mean compared to other switches i've worked with this one's not it doesn't feel cheap, I guess is the way I could say it. You know, some of them are plastic and they feel like they're empty. This one does not feel empty. This one feels like it's got stuff in it. Of course, it does have the power supply built into it. So rather than having a power brick exterior, it has the power brick interior. And it's got some oh, holes in the side. I guess this is where you mount these brackets, say if you want to mount this to a rack or something. So that's kind of nice. Let's see, the installation guide is... I mean, it is just a switch. Pretty much, it's a one pager. No multiple languages. There is a QC code on the back if you need help. Just scan that code and go to the internet, and you should be able to get your help from, directly from Almox. I'll be back once I uh, get this thing set up and use it. All right, and now another thing I, I should mention. Not sure what this is going to end up in the final product. I'll splice this in the video somewhere, but I forgot to mention it does have a grounding screw in the back. You can take the screw and loosen it and put an independent ground to whatever chassis you're mounting this to. So if you're putting this in like a server rack or a home server rack, you can actually take and put a, a ground wire from here to your rack. 
it's, I mean, it's already granted through the uh, third prong in your cord, but I guess it's for extra security use for a static discharge. I just wanted to mention that. It's most most uh, switches don't have that. That's a little added feature this one has. Okay, this is my after video for after I put in the uh, switch. We're going to download. Oh, I got that wrong. Download the Stargate file again, same one, but this time I wanted to show you how exactly how big it is. It's 3.27 gigabytes. I'll go over here and okay, we'll paste it over here and we'll see exactly how long it takes to download now. About 30 seconds is what it's estimating. Again, this is a solid state drive to a solid state drive. I would say the results are pretty remarkable. It's a heck of a lot faster than it used to be. So there you have it entire Stargate movie 3.27 gigabytes and 30 seconds or less